Hey guys, some of you are probably wondering where my Cooper Eddy Pro Model Edit is. And I haven't finished making it yet because I'm in a canal slump. So today I will be sharing some tips to get out of a kendama slump and I'll show you some kendama hacks that you can do to your kendama. So let's get started. My first tip is to drink caffeine. You don't want to drink too much but a little bit will help you have enough energy to keep uh, landing some tricks. I have kombucha or kombucha, however you want to say it. And tip number two is being a big open area. I'll probably be doing most of my stuff in my front yard today. It's pretty big, as you can tell. I might do some tricks in my backyard too. Tip number three is change the kendamas you're using. If you use the same kendama, you'll you might like not be able to land any new tricks because you're not trying different shapes and um, different like paints too. Tip number four is to be outside in like nice weather. That helps me, but might not help you. When I'm outside in like sunny weather, I land tricks more often for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. Tip number five is to listen to music. If you listen to music and like you get hyped, it can help you like focus, I guess. And you can probably land better tricks too. Tip number six is to stretch before you have a sesh, because when you're looser you can land tricks easier instead of being all tense and not being able to land tricks. Tip number seven is to have fun while doing it. If you're not having fun, what's the point of doing it? Because it can almost meant to be fun. Yeah, you want to like learn new tricks, new and harder tricks, but if you're not having fun, there's really no point in doing it because you're just putting stress on yourself. I will put in some kendama hacks and modifications after a couple tricks I learned, a couple new tricks that I'm going to learn today. Tip 8 is to wear sunglasses or a hat because if the sun's right in your eyes it's going to be hard to see the Tama and when to spike it. Tip 9 is don't give up on your tricks. If you can't land it one day, keep on trying and you'll get it eventually. If you just give up, you're never going to land it. So just keep trying. Okay, so the first tip is mostly the first tip is mainly uh, focused on natty kendamas, but I already did this a couple days ago. You get uh, coconut oil and put it on the kendama. It works as a coat. Um, it helps with like making it tackier and makes it darker too. So what I did was. I took it apart into the three parts. For each part, I took like a pea-sized amount of coconut oil, rubbed it in my hands, and then like rubbed it into the wood. And then I did that for each one, even the tama. And then for each cup, I would do the same thing. I would put a pea-sized amount here, here, and here. You can also do this for like other kendamas if you want them to be tackier, like like on your kens, not your tamas though, because the tama paint would be.
be weird if you put coconut oil on it. Hack number two. It's for the bevel right here. If it gets choppy or like it starts going in because how much you've uh, done the or spiked it, you get a coin, put it right here, and do that for a second. And after a bit, it'll start looking new, like brand new. So you probably don't want to do that too much because it'll make it like really big. But if you do it, it makes it fresher. Hack number three. Um, I haven't done this yet, but you get a tech deck wheel, and uh, it's bare or it's bolt. I'm pretty sure, and you use that and make it, it makes like a spinner, so the bolt will spin inside the wheel, so then your string tension doesn't mess up. Hack number four is to like get your bevel wet, and it helps with birds or stall tricks. You can like lick it, put it in water, any anything that has... It, anything that's what will work. So just look right here. And then you can land stall tricks better. See? It's also focused for Natty Kendamas to make them tackier. It's from Jake Weens. Um... If you just get sweat on your kendama, it'll make it tackier. It can be from your forehead, from your chest, your stomach, your armpits, if you want to be that gross. Anywhere, sweat, any sort of sweat will make it tackier, and it will make it more saturated too. Not sure if you will count this as a hack, but sleigh bands are pretty awesome. They help with a lot. If you want to get your can heavier, it makes them heavier. If you want the like big cup to come this way, just put one on the big cup and it will the weight will automatically make it come this way. They help with stalls, um, tracking if you're doing like J sticks or UFOs. Um, and they're just really awesome. If your string comes out of your tama often, here, let me get it out. Like, if you're trying to land a trick and it just pops out, or like you're trying to do a lighthouse and it pops out and then it falls off because the string gets in the way, you can um, tie a knot with the tama. Just wrap it around the tama like that. And then you want it to be right above the string hole course as you can get it and see that will prevent it from going through and then you can land any trick you want okay. so next is if you have a flat spike like this you want to get a pencil sharpener which I do not have right now and sharpen it a bit not too much to where it's super pointy then get sandpaper and round it off a bit like a normal pen like that and yeah if you just sharpen it and then sand it and shape it to like a normal pen it will be good but if you are into like border balance tricks you might want a flatter spike to your bow because it's easier to balance with the border on if you're like watching tv or your family's watching tv or your friends and you don't want to be distracted by something else you can just press with your bone fingers, and uh, that will help you land a lot better. Wear athletic clothing to it helps you uh, stay cooler, and um, try to wear shorts if you have to take your shoes off and socks. Do that because I know sometimes when I get really hot, it's hard for me to land some tricks. Bring a couple kendamas and kendama string in case like your string breaks or your kendama breaks. 
or if you just want to use different kendamas. If you're going somewhere, take food too. So if you get hungry or if you need more energy, you can eat iPod or your phone and headphones. So if you're like in an urban area, it, uh, you can listen to music and block out all the sound so you can focus better. Thanks for watching and I hope you found some of these tips and hacks useful for you and you can show some of them to your friends. Um, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and keep watching my channel. See ya.